So I've knocked up a couple of files, five files, three slides, very simple, and I've just created a small amount of content on the slide and a note, and then a bit more and a bit more, just so I could separate them all together. And all I want to do here is translate only the notes, not the slides. So I'm not interested in the content on the slides. So to do that, here's what I'm going to do. I create a new project. I'll just use the default template for this. I'll just call it notes only. I can spell it, notes only. Next, well, I'll get rid of all those because I don't want all those languages. So I'll just go English, United States to French. It doesn't really matter for this exercise. I'll add my files and I'm going to take all of those so I'll create a project with a bunch of files in there and I'm just going to finish at that point. So that goes through and I've created my project. And when I open them up, obviously what you see is every slide and all the notes. But the thing to be of interest here is that the document structure information column, which is this one here on the right, gives a bit of information about what these are. And you can see that the notes are actually annotated with the note. So what I should be able to do is to exclude everything else using the STLXLib toolkit. So to do that, what I do is just explore the containing folder. So this takes me to the folder where all of those files are. I open up the STLXLib toolkit. I've got this on a little shortcut here. So it looks like this, the STLXLib toolkit. I'm sure you've seen it before. <coughs> I just take my STLXLib files and just drop them into there like that. I'll close that now. I select them all and I click on the Generate Document Structure Information here, DSI. And this shows me all of the document structure information that is used in those PowerPoints. What I do then is I pick these ones that I don't want. All I want is the notes and I say lock them and then change it. So that's gone through there and it should have locked all of those. So if I close that and I come back to Studio, if I open up a file, just pick any one of those now, I open it up, you see those are locked. So what I can do then is I can go for Unlocked and it leaves me with just the notes, only the notes, and I don't have to worry about anything else at all. And that becomes really handy because you can do things like open all the files if you want to, open them all in one go for translation, Come back to here, filter on unlocked again, and there we go. For everyone, all I've got is the notes. So everything else is locked. I'm not going to pay any attention of it. They're locked segments, so they won't be taken into account in the analysis, and it's right, nice and easy to, to handle. Hopefully that will be the answer, the simple answer anyway, to this particular problem.